Today we get to test drive the Mercedes-Benz Vision EQXX, the battery electric car that drove over 1,200 kilometers on one single charge. And since we're talking about range, I'd also like to share with you my top five 2022 EVs with the biggest range. And with that, welcome to Red. The venue for the Mercedes EQXX test drive, the Immendingen test track spread across 520 hectares. The perfect place for Rev to set our resident tester Emmanuel Schaefer loose. The Vision EQXX is a prototype that was built with special attention to optimized air resistance. It has a drag coefficient of 0.17, which is even better than an American football. Mercedes also managed to give the car a special drivetrain and a lighter and smaller battery, thanks to input from Formula E engineers. So now we are driving in the EQXX and Mercedes told me that it will have an eye on my way of driving. So in the end, they will give me a feedback on how efficient I was moving that car and maybe if I could have done the 1,200 kilometer drive myself. Probably not, but no matter. And while we're driving, I will tell you about my top five EVs in 2022 when it comes to range. Of course, it's not only about range. There are also other factors that come into that list. For example, price and also design. Number five on that list is the Tesla Model S. This car has a range of 652 kilometers and a base price of 97,000 euros. That's quite expensive and not exactly affordable for everyone. That does also mean that you have a base price of around 148 euros per kilometer that you can drive. Number four on this list is the Mercedes EQE. It comes with around 623 kilometers of range, which is around 30 kilometers less than the Tesla, but it's also around 26,000 euros cheaper than the Tesla. And that gives it a price of around 112 euros per kilometer that you can drive. Speaking of driving, though the EQXX is a prototype, it drives as well as any other electric car. Number three is the car we're actually sitting in, the EQXX. Now you might be wondering, wait, why is it only number three with its more than 1,200 kilometers of range? It should be number one, shouldn't it? Yes, but there are things that you need to take into account. First thing is, of course, this car is not a series production car. It's pre-series, it's a prototype, so you cannot buy it and you cannot own it. And the other thing is, of course, the price. Mercedes did not exactly tell me how much it cost, but it's clear a prototype car with all the development and things you have to do, we're talking about millions. So it will make the kilometer price extremely high and that way it will only make it to third place. Number two is the electric Ford Mustang, the Mach-E. I was not a fan of it when I first drove it, but I got used to it and I have to say they did a pretty solid job on that car. It has 610 kilometers of range and a base price of around 63,000 euros and that gives it a price of around 103 euros per kilometer of range. And finally, car number one on my list is the Kia EV6. Of course, with its 528 kilometers, it's far from the others on that list, but it comes at an entry level price of around 51,000 euros, meaning around 94 euros 
per kilometer, which is a very good figure. But that's not everything. The car also looks very good, even though it's an SUV, it's rather flat and it comes with 800 volt technology, which is also different than most of the others on that list. So it will be able to charge faster than, for example, EQE or Tesla Model S. And the last thing I really like about that car is the fact that you can also use it to charge other electric vehicles or, for example, to make a coffee or anything if you're on a camping trip. So that makes it the number one EV on my personal list. However, once the EQXX's tech makes it to the rest of Merck's production car lineup, this list might need to be updated. It was pretty interesting to drive that prototype car on the Mercedes test track and I didn't even do that bad. I mean, compared to the Mercedes driver, I was of course not ideally, but it was okay and that is thanks to the car, thanks to the technology. And that's why I'm pretty interested to see when the technologies of this car will come into serious production cars. Our resident tester managed a consumption of 8.13 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, while the Mercedes reference driver stayed slightly below eight kilowatt hours. For context, most modern EVs usually consume around 15 to 20 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So all in all, Emmanuel didn't do too badly.